Yes, friends. <coughs> <coughs> Bhuvanesh Oza, back to you. We are talking on short tutorials on designing of experiments for engineering institutions. Mainly for engineering institutions, but they are useful for training center of industries too. Uh, we have talked about uh, many practicals, many experiments, right? How to test the relay, uh, transient overreach of the instantaneous over current relay. We have talked about characteristic of directional relay. We have talked about radial feeder protection. We have talked about parallel feeder protection and talked about means how these experiments can be simulated in the laboratory, how you can simulate a parallel feeder which exists in field that you have to simulate in laboratory so that the student understands <coughs> as to how he can uh, when, when he goes to field, he would not find it new because he would know as to how to set the relays, how the relay will operate when fault occurs, etc. Then we have started a series on SPAJ. There is a SPECOM version relay SPAJ 140C of ABB, Asia Brown Bavari. Uh, I have been telling that this relay is now more or less uh, out of date because they have much better versions available. Someday we may talk on those better versions also. But I feel that when the version is going on when the version is in the field uh, i should take the written permission from abb uh, which i have not yet taken therefore this patch and you see this patch also gives many facilities <coughs> many facilities are available in this patch. So, if you understand this comparatively simpler relay, uh, to understand more complicated relay would be easier. So, we are talking on different switch groups which offer different facilities. We have talked about switch group SGF1, which offers different characteristics. We have talked about switch group SGF2, <coughs> which offers the manual or self reset of start indicators. And now we are talking of a very important switch group SGB, switch group blocking. Uh, what kind of facilities does this switch group blocking give? Right. So that we would want to discuss in, in this, this particular tutorial class. So to go further, <coughs> switch group blocking has, as usual, SGB1, SGB2, SGB3 to SGB8. SGB1 to SGB4, are for temporary blocking. Temporary means you can block it for few milliseconds also. You can block it for few seconds also. And it has a purpose. So that purpose is explained in this figure. Say I have got an incomer which is terminated on a bus 
and from that bus some four or five feeders are going. On one of the feeders, there is a relay R2. And on incomer, there is a relay R1. <coughs> so you very well know that whenever fault occurs, say at F1, then R2 should operate first. It should isolate the faulty part. But should R2 fail, R1 should give backup. And while giving backup, we are we have we have other we have no other go but we have to go for time delay. And we were using time discrimination margin of 0.25 second, that is 250 millisecond. Nowadays, you see, we are talking about national grid. The whole of the India is connected with grid. So if there is a fault in Ahmedabad. Assam is also feeding fault. Kanyakumari is also feeding fault. And Kashmir is also feeding fault. So in, in, in that era, 250 millisecond is a big time. It cannot be allowed. Right. So, but that was the fate. We had no other go. We did not have relays available at that time. Now in this numerical world, that is possible. What is possible? That for fault F1, say I have decided a time of operation of R2 as 0.1 second, 100 millisecond, right? Now, the best algorithm, the most accurate algorithm takes one cycle to sense the fault. So within 20 millisecond, Relay R2 will sense the fault at F1. It is going to operate after 100 millisecond, but it will sense within a cycle. <coughs> so once the relay R2 senses the fault, it gives a signal to relay R1. And you see this signaling facility also did not be using wires. Nowadays, they are using Ethernet cables. And Ethernet cables or the other kind of cables they are using. So that using those cables, you can have communication between R2 and R1. R2 will say R1 that I have sensed the fault. So you need not worry. I am going to take care of. So you need not give back up now. So R1 will be blocked. And that blocking is done by SGB group, SGB oblique 1 for phase over current relays. That is I greater than feature. R1 is blocked. If R2 starts, you see, what is the advantage? The very big advantage that in earlier days, if there is a fault at F1, R2 was operating and R1 was giving backup. So if R2 operates after 0.1 second, R1 had to operate after 0.35 second. Now if fault occurs at F2 on the bus, then R1 will have to operate after 0.35 second only. Here, using this blocking feature, and it is also known as reverse interlocking. Using this reverse interlocking feature, the time discrimination margin between R2 and R1 can be reduced to 40 millisecond, 0.04 second. So R1 will operate just after 0.14 second. So R1 will operate very fast, a very good advantage. R1 will be very fast in operation very quick in operation. So in modern protection world, when quickness is a requirement, this relay offers that quickness, right? For that, you have to apply binary input. That is the requirement. For switch group blocking, you have to apply binary input. Binary input means there are two designated terminals on which you have to apply 230 volt AC. And if you apply 230 volt AC, 
and use a CB, then R1 will block. If there is a fault at F2, then R1 will not block because R2 has not sensed. Right? So R1 will operate faster. Now, this blocking can be automatic also. It's not necessary that you have to manually block. Right? So this automatic blocking is done like this. So all that what I have told is written in this uh, in these lines. You can read afterwards, right? What we are doing? <coughs> the start contact of R2. It it gives start contact. I was telling to you know that the dry contact is available when relay starts. Starts means senses. Try to understand. Relay is not operated. It has only sensed the fault. It has started. So the start input is given to number 10 and 11, which are meant for binary input of relay R1. So relay R1 is given to 30 volt SC, and I use SGB to block relay R1. This is what I do automatic blocking. Once the relay starts, relay R2 starts, R1 is blocked. And if R2 operates, then that start is gone. Then blocking is gone, right? Try to understand that R1 is going to operate. R2 is going to operate after 0.1 second. So start will also become open and trip contact will also become open. So blocking of R1 is withdrawn. So blocking of R1 is only for a small temporary period, right? So R2 and R1, they can talk, they can communicate. This communication feature is there only in numerical relays. Two relays can talk with each other, right? That, that feature is there. So uh, yes, uh, blocking of R1 when R2 starts. So you see, if R1 and R2 are not near. Say if it is a radial system and R1 is some 40 kilometers away from R2, then also you can use this blocking feature. That means when R2 starts, you can send a blocking signal to R1, but you have to send this blocking signal 40 kilometers away. So for that, you can use carrier signal because you are already using carrier current protection, right? the line differential protection you are using. So using that carrier current protection, you can block R1 in case of radial system also. So that is also possible. So SGB1, SGB oblique 1, if I set at 1 and I give binary input, then I greater than stage is blocked. If I do it zero, SGB one zero, then I greater than stage is not blocked, even if you give binary input. So that is your wish. SGB two for I double greater than blocking, SGB three for I zero greater than blocking, I zero means earth fault, SGB three, uh, SGB four is for I zero double greater than blocking. So all these four blocking phase over current and earth fault. Phase over current double greater than that is I set and I zero I set. Everything can be blocked for a temporary period. <coughs> so that is SGB oblique four. SGB oblique five gives a special facility main and second setting. You see in old electromechanical or static relays, there was only one setting, one plug setting, one time multiplier setting, and one I set setting. Here, there are two groups available. In Relian version relay, there are six groups available. Six groups, six plug setting, six time setting, six different characteristics. Many settings are available. But here, 
in in this relay there are two groups main setting and second setting you have to think of what the setting possibilities you have to set in advance how you have to set in advance because your power system is not static it is highly dynamic and i can give you 100 examples of dynamism of power system but time will not permit so i cannot give 100 examples but i will give you few examples where you see you need two different sets two different settings two plug settings two time multiplier settings you would need such kinds of facilities are are required because your power system is not static once you have started feeding power that's all nothing no no change will be there it's not like that there will be many changes every moment every time you see in the morning power system is different in the afternoon it is different so how power system dynamism is there <coughs> i have got four generators g1 g2 g3 and g4 controlled by breakers 52 1 52 2 52 3 52 and then there can be many lines say one of the lines is going to load is going to some substation on which i have got relay r now at day time all four generators are running but at night time the load is less one has to appreciate and understand that if g1 g2 g3 g4 are thermal power plants you cannot make it off and on like switch it is not possible but if you see you have got gas turbine plant plants if you got uh, the combined cycle power plant if you got diesel power plant then even hydro power plant you can hydro power plant starting time it is about half an hour you see thermal power plant starting time is 7 hours you cannot make it on and off like a switch but other plants you can make off so at night time say you have to make g1 and g2 off and g3 and g4 will run now when g3 and g4 will run obviously the current passing through the primary of relay r will be less so the plug setting required for relay r is different at night <coughs> at day time it is different at night time the plug setting is different two different plug settings are required right at day time different at night time different not only that but because the fault current is also changed only two generators are running and your time multiplier setting is dependent on fault current therefore time multiplier setting will also change at night time it is also quite possible that zs by zs zl ratio zs means generator to relay four generators means zs is small so zs by zl is small but at night time zs by zl is large so it is quite possible that at night time you may need that relay r should be a very inverse relay at that time relay r should be a normal inverse relay so these changes you could not make in earlier relays relay could not adapt with the changes in the power system and power system changes this is possible with this double setting right at night time different setting at day time different setting it can be done automatically right because you are making the generator one and two off therefore the nc switches of breaker auxiliary switches of breaker 5221 and 5222 that is 5211 and 
can be wired to feed the binary input. Automatically, the setting will change at night. No doubt, that setting you will have to configure in advance. That is true. But that will come in picture. That will be, that you will be using, right? So that is very important. That is very important about the, this relay. Next possibility. Next possibility of dynamism. <coughs> what is the next possibility? I've got a single bus system with sectionalizing breaker. I've got two incomers, I1 and I2. And I've got four outgoing feeders, F1, F2, F3 and F4. Now what happens? That if sectionalizing breaker is on, then current will come from I1. It will go to F1 and F2. But the requirement at F1 and F2 is less. F3 and F4 require some more current. So current will pass through sectionalizing breaker and it will go to F3, F4 also. Right? So setting of relay R1 is based on the rated current of F1 and F2 and some small current that is required for F3 and F4. And similarly, setting of R2 will not be the current for F3 and F4 because some current R1 is supplying. Therefore, the plug setting of R1 and R2 will be one value if sectionalizing breaker is on. If sectionalizing breaker is off, the plug settings are different. Plug settings are different. Therefore, the plug setting of R1 and R2 is a function of status of sectionalizing breaker. Is a function of status of sectionalizing breaker. Right? <clears throat> Not only that, but when sectionalizing breaker is on, both the incomers are parallel. And therefore, your if one incomer has the impedance Z, then total impedance will be Z by 2. Therefore, fault current will be large. But if sectionalizing breaker is off, fault current will be less. And therefore, TMS also will be different. Right? Like this, you see, you need two different sets for relay R1 and R2. In, in such a case, when you got this sectionalizing breaker. So I have given you these two examples. As I told to you, I can give you 100 number of examples in prevalent power system, but, but the time will not permit. <coughs> and, and you see, you can use the uh, auxiliary switch of sectionalizing breaker to change the setting as you have been doing in earlier cases, right? So that can be done. So if a GB5 is equal to zero, then this group setting facility is not available. But if you make SGB5 equal to one, then you have to give binary input. Then you can change the setting from setting number one, main setting to secondary setting. So for making uh, main setting, so secondary setting, for changing the setting, to you have to make SGB5 equal to 1. It's a swap switch. And you have to give the binary input. Here in this relay, there is only one binary input. But in Relian version relays, there are as many as 16 binary inputs. And you can configure all 16 binary inputs for many purposes. So that makes the relay quite complex. But all the time, the relay gives many facilities. All the time, relay offers very good kind of protection. Because of that, the power system is available for more time. Probably power system is available for all 365 days, probably. Right? So, you get more money. Electricity company gives more, gets more money because people will buy power and they will get more money. So, this modern relays have made the technology different. Modern relays have changed the fundamentals of power system protection 
different and therefore you have to understand them. But very important thing is that if in group 1 SGB 5 equal to 1, then in group 2 also SGB 5 must be equal to 1 because in group 2 also SGB 5 is there. If it is not 1 in group 2, then relay will be under confusion because SGB 5 is equal to 1 in first group means relay says that you have to go to group 2. But when you go to group 2, group 2 says SGB 5 is 0. So you come wrong. You have to go back. So relay will just toss. It will just go here and there. So that one has to remember that SGB 5 has to have same value in both the groups. That one has to remember. SGB 6 is for self is for latching the trip signal. If you see what happens that fault occurs. So relay senses the fault. Then relay operates. Relay operates means breaker trips. Breaker trips means current through relay is zero. So relay will reset automatically. Most of the relays are self-reset. But if you want that you do not want the relay to be self-reset and you want to hand reset it, then you can do it using SGB6. If you make SGB6 equal to 1, then trip signal will be latched. It will be manual reset. And manual reset you can done, you can do using SGB8 from remote also, from some control room, from somewhere else. And you have to give the binary input, right? So SGB6 is for latching the trip signal. SGB7 is also latching. But in case of earth fault, SGB6 for overcurrent, that is phase overcurrent, and SGB7 for earth fault. So SGB1 to SGB8, different facilities are, are available. Different facilities are available. For doing this experiment in the institute, we have wired like this. Uh, Experiment is not as cheap as all other experiments which I, which I was talking because there are many things to be used, but not that very costly also. Say I have used an auto transformer. Auto transformer is usually available in laboratories. Circuit breaker, when I say it is not circuit breaker, it is a contactor. Contactor I will have to purchase. C1 another contactor, C2, third contactor. Why third contactor? Because I have rather simulated a two-section radial feeder, three-phase, two-section radial feeder. The first section is controlled by relay spots and second section is controlled by the conventional electromagnetic or static relay. I have wired wired in such a way that I can go for static relay also, I can go for electromagnetic relay also. At terminals A1 and B1, section 2, 10 by 5 CD, A1 and B1, I will connect the uh, relay electromechanical type, then it is electromechanical. Or otherwise, I will connect the static relay. You see, I can connect any relay I like. Similarly, in earth fault version, I've, I've got a selector switch and using that selector switch, I can go either for electromagnetic relay or for static relay. That is, the relay spaj, the digital relay, will, will coordinate with electromechanical relay. Uh, this experiment we had designed somewhere in 2000 or 2002. At that time yet, the electromechanical relays were available. Now, more or less, they are not available. So this is not the requirement now. But at that time, you had to coordinate static relay or electromagnetic relay with a numerical relay. 
So we had designed this experiment for coordination purpose also. Right. So simple circuitry. Line I am simulating by 9 ohm re resistance because this is an overcurrent relay. I do not need an inductor. Load. I am using a load bank of 200 ohms. I have got 5 200 ohm resistors. So I have got switches in each resistor. So if I make one switch on, it is 200 ohms. Two switches, 200 parallel, 200. And five switches means 40 ohms. So I can control the load also. <coughs> and I can connect more or less load, right? So that also I can do. In earth fault circuit, I would want to reduce the current because otherwise the relay may be damaged. Therefore, I am using 185 ohm rheostat in, in the earth fault circuit, in the neutral circuit. The line to line fault I can create by S1, S2, S3. S1, double line fault. S1, S2, triple line fault. S1, S2, S3, triple line to ground fault. S2 and S3, double line to ground fault. S3 alone, line to ground fault. All kinds of fault you can simulate, you can create. That is in first section. And S4, S5, S6 in second section. So, not very difficult uh, uh, circuitry, simple circuitry, but no doubt. If you see the circuitry at the back of the panel, you will see many wires, right? So uh, when there is some problem, the problem shooting becomes difficult. And therefore, what we have done is we have wired in an industrial way. All wires are connected with ferrule numbers so that I can identify the wire. If at all some open circuit is there in any wire, if some problem comes, I can do troubleshooting faster, right? So when you are doing the wiring work, you have to draw the industrial grade of wiring. So this is the AC circuit, power circuit. Control circuit, you have to wire. Control circuit means when the relay operates, the contactor should automatically trip. C1 is the contactor for first section. C2 is for second section. C2 is controlled by electromagnetic and static relay. So you can see that on right hand side, three relays are there, right? IVS, IVS and IVS. These are electromagnetic relays. So when they operate, IVS operates, operation of IVS will operate A2, that is the auxiliary relay. And operation of the auxiliary A2, when A2 operates, A2, 7, A2, 11 will open out and breaker C2 will de-energize. Rather, that will isolate the faulty section that you can do, right, using A1. This T1, T2, T3, 13, 14, 20, 21. Therefore, static relays. So static relay also can control the relay A2 and can trip the contactor C2, right? So C2 can be tripped if there is a fault in second section. If there is a fault in first section, then this 65 and 66 are main trip contact. Another very important thing, 71 and 72 is there, right? 71 and 72. That is relay failure. I cannot fail the relay, obviously, because then I cannot use it for second group, the second batch, another, another year student. Therefore, what I will do? I will make the auxiliary supply off. So 71 and 72 will get connected and A1 will operate. A1 operating breaker C1 will trip. Because I've made the auxiliary supply off, that means now relay is not going to work 
even if the fault occurs, the relay is not going to isolate the faulty part. Therefore, what I'm doing, I'm making that contactor off. <coughs> that extra facility that is self-diagnostic, I've got in this relay. Right. And then another very important thing that if circuit breaker fails, right? If circuit breaker fails. Now I cannot fail the circuit breaker. So what I'm doing? I'm keeping this switch CBF, circuit breaker failure. I will open it out. So 65 and 66 will operate. Spaz relay will operate. But A1 will not operate because this is open. Therefore C1 will not trip. And because C1 will not trip the Earlier breaker, C2, the earlier breaker, C2 will trip. Sorry, C, the earlier breaker, that is upstream breaker, will trip. And for that, there is 74, 75 contact. And those contacts will become on after certain time, settable 0.121 second. Because you see, breaker time is two cycles, three cycles, or five cycles. So, it is settable. 74 and 75 will give trip signal to upstream breaker C in case of circuit breaker failure protection. So all these facilities which are there in the relay circuit breaker, I mean spudge, I am using. So I have used the facilities of SGF1, that is switch group function, SGF2, switch group function 2, SGB. <coughs> and now, in the next tutorial class, we will talk about SGR, switch group relay configuration. What those relay configuration switch group give, what kind of facilities they give to the relay so that you can use the relay in a better way. You can give I mean, you can use the relay for better protection, higher grade of protection. How you can do that? That you can see using this. So friends, with that, uh, we come to an end of this talk on SGB. That is switch group blocking, right? And Every time we end with a sentence, a good sentence, right? And a sentence which, which will give you some understanding, some sense. So some philosopher is told that if you love a flower, don't pick it up. Bhagavan ko chadane ke liye hum phool. We are plucking the uh, flower and then we, but then with God it will remain for one hour, two hours, then they will not be there. But then when the flowers are there on the, on the, on the plant, God is seeing it, God is enjoying it. And flowers themselves are uh, saying that we are for you, we are for God. So if the flower is there on the plant, they are better for God. So if you love a flower, don't pick it up. Because if you pick it up, it dies. And it ceases to be what you love. Aap jisko prem kar rahe, wo phul to raha hi nahi. That flower is gone. So if you love a flower, let it be. Let it be on the plant. Love is not about possession. Huh? If you possess, then it is not love. If I'm possessing my wife, then I'm not loving my wife. If I'm possessing my children, I'm not loving my children. Love is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. Love is about appreciation. So friends, 
with that we come to an end of this talk every time i remind you that adapt me is there adapt me is teaching you adapt me is, is teaching about spaj now adapt me is going to talk about yet simpler experiments i'm going to talk about the experiments in power system short transmission line medium transmission line floating neutral characteristic of mcb right very simple experiments very simple but we understand it theoretically i have designed experiments to understand the theory right so and those experiments can be very easily designed and at a very low cost at a very low cost it can be designed colleges can design these experiments and can teach to the students and students will love it will like it even today i am going as a visiting faculty to nirma just yesterday i got a, a mail or whatsapp from student i am telling in the class that i am given only one period in a week huh? switch gear and protection or power system protection has is a course of three lectures per week two lectures some other professor is taking one lecture i am taking so i am getting 15 weeks so 15 lectures i tell to the students that within 15 lectures i can teach 15% of what i know if you want to know more you have to come for extra and you have to learn extra so even today when i was teaching in 90s that is 80 to 90 92 2000 2000 to 2010 in those days out of 60 students 40 students were coming in extra class today in nirma out of 120 student 24 students are coming number of students percentage is less but yet even today also student does want to learn <laughs> student ko seekhna hai student wants to learn from a teacher if teacher is experienced if teacher has very good experience if teacher has industrial experience student wants to learn because he also wants to earn his bread he also wants to get a good job therefore he wants to earn so students are even today coming for extra classes in pdpu where i am going pandit dindal petroleum university in nirma in nirma m tech also students are coming to learn extra in nirma m tech when the btech students are doing major project m tech students are coming to see that major project ki saab aap kya karwate hai sab what kind of experiments you are getting done by students right so i am using most modern relays and we are rigging up new experiments we are updating the laboratory of the institution right so that work is continuously going on and that work is going on for a limited number of student in one institute adapt me is trying to join the whole world with us we are connected i am connected with you with the whole world with lakhs of people with crores of people who server wants to understand power system protection i am connected so i am thankful to adapt me a, a mobile app that has been started by the directors of adapt me so i am thankful to them and you should be thankful to adapt me because you are learning new things through this adapt me so friends 
थैंक यू फॉर पेशेंटली हियरिंग मी फॉर सच ए लॉन्ग टाइम मे बी थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी मिनिट्स गुड डे फॉर टूडे थैंक यू सो मच रिमेंबर एडप मी रिमेंबर एप्रेस थैंक यू